Yeah! B96, and this is the way it's going down. A B96 commercial free hour, flip side at Thanks. five. But on the Comcast couch right now, Justin, I've been waiting to say this for a long time. The Rock is in the building! Yes, sir. Oh, dude, Jay-Z hanging out with B96 and Styles and Roman. Uh, we haven't had many legends in the building. I, I think that you, and, and that's it, really. It starts and stops <laughs> with you. So thank you for coming to B96, man. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Uh, thank so it must be a really important day for you today. The new CD, yeah. we're holding it right here. Blueprint 3 is out in stores today, man. Yeah. Now, how does it feel to have number 11? This is the 11th album coming out, man. How does it make you feel? Oh, it's, it's humbling. Uh uh you know feeling in in a, a game where you know most people get two or three albums if they're lucky mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know to be here number 11 you know studio album yes. yeah right. I, mean, I still got another five or six other outside projects so to be here uh, still, you know, in the, at the top of the game is just an incredible feeling for me. And that's the thing, on top of the game. I mean, some people, like, you know, uh, certain ball players will stay a little too long. I mean, but Jay-Z, yeah. you're still on top of your game 11 CDs deep. Yeah, yeah. I was telling uh, the Bill Maher the other day that, you know, you don't use your legs in rap. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. Good point. Yeah. That's a good point. So you can stay a little longer. <laughs> so you got the two threes up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, we're in Jordan. Chicago now. Hall uh, of Fame, man. We're in I Chicago think it's this Friday. No, yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, it was the same day, yeah. Now, you own, the New, you own the New Jersey Jets. Are you a fan? Nets. 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 I'm Nets. sorry. It's right. Do you, are you fans of any other basketball teams besides the Nets? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and you're in Chicago, so just say the Bulls for us. I mean, you know. Well, I grew up a Bulls fan, right. of course. You know, I grew up a huge fan of Michael um, Jordan because mm -hmm. my pop was a uh, Dr. J fan. Okay. You know, Dr. J, uh, Michael Jordan was the evolution right. of Dr. J. So naturally, I gravitated towards um, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Of course. So of I was course. a huge Bulls fan. Well, I think it's safe to say that you're the uh, Michael Jordan of, of the hip hop game. Okay. So you've been. Yeah, I've been this... putting that out for so long. So at least now people picking up. It's they great. It, it works. <laughs> no, I thought. I thought I thought Except I, made I got that eleven up. rings. I'm like Bill Russell. <laughs> <laughs> so let, I mean, let's talk about it because you know you retired. You've come. You came back. Yeah. Was this all? Was that all kind of a big uh, thing, or did you really think you were going to retire a few years back? Yeah, uh, for me because I was putting out an album every year, so I right. was I was running at this incredible rate. Mm -hmm. You know, every single year since '96, and I just got like around 2004. I was like, man, it's eight years straight. I got to chill mm -hmm. and. Uh, now, I was offered the, the president job at Def Jam. So right. I, I thought it was my calling. I thought it was the next thing. I thought it was the evolution, me to show artists in a different light. Of course. I thought it was, you know, my next move. Of course. And, uh, but I, I didn't count the passion for what one, one has for what they do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So my passion for making music, you know, uh, after a year in was calling me. Which was a great thing for me, cause and for us, you know, honestly, yeah. and for us. Uh, thanks. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I wanted to feel it. I didn't want to just put out an album every year because that was the thing to do. Right. I, wanted, mm -hmm. I wanted to do it because I had something to say, and of I course. was feeling like I wanted to make music. Of know? course, of course. So I'm, I got that feeling back. You have so many, so many club bangers. I mean, we still we do clubs out here, and they still play like Big Pimpin' as if it's a power song, like right now on the radio. Do you have a favorite Jay Z songs out of all the songs you've done? Do you have a favorite Jay Z song? Man, that's difficult. But the, but I can't say the 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 song I like performing uh, the most in concert is PSA. Okay. Because okay. the place just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psycho. Well, when it's, that got, comes it's very on. dramatic too. Yeah, it's very yeah. dramatic. It's yeah. uh, yeah. Now, how does it make you feel? You just talked about a couple minutes ago being the president of the record label. How does it make you feel seeing Rihanna, seeing Kanye, like artists that you've brought up through the ranks, mm -hmm. being so successful? It's an incredible feeling for me because you know, as 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 you know, an artist who was the president, you know, I got a lot of flack for you know. You know, like I'm a miracle worker. Like I can make every <laughs> single person a star, and that's just impossible. Yeah. It's just not the reality of the situation. But the the people that I did uh, help along in their career, uh -huh. you know, they're huge stars. Well, we talking about Kanye. We talking about the arguably the biggest guy in 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 rap, and then from Chicago and, too, and uh, you know, arguably, arguably the biggest girl, the pop singer out. You well, know? you brought both them together on uh, on the single uh, "Run This Town." Yeah. And, uh, you know, Kanye, you and Kanye have been doing it for a while, you and Rihanna. This is Rihanna's first public look, musically, since the horrible incident. Did it take convincing on your end to get her doing this, or was it no, like she, she was... runs, she, 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 she's a roller, man. Right. She, she, she goes hard. She <laughs> right. was ready, she was ready, like, uh -huh. let me know, would show up for the video. It was no problem. It was actually her song. Oh, really? Run This Town was her song. She had recorded a demo to it, and I uh, had this track that she wanted from Chase and Static, and, uh, 
I gave it a track. You know, it was just like a yeah. fair exchange. It was, mm-hmm. it was like I like that song, and you know, Jay Brown uh, was like, "Man, give him that song, and you, he'll give you the track." And I gave it a track. <laughs> I hope she uses the track because this one worked out great for me. Absolutely. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, and, and no matter, no matter, the, you know, all, all the, the bad stuff that has happened this year for her. I mean, something cool about the video, seeing all you guys doing the rock sign, it just it was, it gave me chills. It was so cool to see you guys together. Cause I know Kanye, Rihanna, and Jay Z. You guys definitely are all family. Yeah, absolutely. Cause and it's a real authentic thing. Right. We're not just standing there for a video um we really talk to each other and i really uh you know give them plenty of advice and uh-huh. ask their advice as well right. you know so it's a real thing how did you feel uh kanye west uh two cds ago did big brother and it was basically his ode to jay-z talking about how you're you're his idol when you first heard that song kanye like you said one of, probably next to you the biggest mc in this game how did that feel about him devoting a whole song to respect towards you i thought it was fantastic because it was like it was flawed and it was it had humility in it. Uh-huh. You know, there was arrogance in it. It was like a bit of everything in uh-huh. there. It was just real emotion and what he felt about um, his rise and everything that happened to him, you know, at Rockefeller. So I thought it was a genius song. That's cool, right? And I thought it was really cool that he put his emotions out there. Most people would be scared to do things like that. And I think that's, what, that's the genius in him. And what makes him so great is because... He's fearless. Mm-hmm. He's fearless. He'll he make is. a song about workout workout plan, and, <laughs> right. and, you know, and then make, and then turn around and make a, a another genius song like uh, Jesus, Jesus Walk, absolutely. which on is the same just album. absolutely genius. On the same you know? album too, exactly. Now you're giving big props to our boy here in Chicago. You earlier today, tickets went on sale for your uh, show. You got at Madison Square Garden on nine yeah. eleven. Sold out in 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah, 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Your show oh. sold out, man. Yeah, that took, took a long time today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was shooting for nine, but yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. is cool, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a great feeling, once again. Um, and plus, it's a, it's a worthy great cause. cause yeah. you know, it's a great cause. Um, it's for the um, police and the uh, firefighters, uh, widows and their kids. And um, when we first put up the show, you know, because this blueprint came out on the actual day in 2001. Right. So putting out this blueprint three, I wanted to recognize the date. That was great. You know, mm-hmm. this being the end of the trilogy. And uh, I wanted to recognize the date and do this concert. But I didn't know really the gravity of it. Uh-huh. You know, I met uh, this young lady who works with the organization. And she gave me a bracelet from her brother who died, uh-huh. you know, in the building that day. Mm-hmm. And then I just got a page earlier from... Um, Another young lady who has three kids who said that this day has been so sad for her kids. And, and now they're all excited because they're looking forward yeah. to go to the concert. Yeah. You know, they're 14, 16, and 9 now. Okay. So they were one, you know, eight years ago. So you do the <laughs> right. math. It right? right. starts getting murky after eight and nine. Right. <laughs> but, you know, they're, they're 14, 16, and 9 now. And they, they're looking forward to go to the concerts. And now here's a day that was so... You negative know, negative for them and you turn you it know. positive yeah that's so cool and man. i didn't think about that yeah i, I just know, thought so. of that right now actually that's yeah. a, that's really cool yeah. um blueprint three in stores today on the cd i love the cd but one song in particular i love about i, I want to say it's called i'm a star oh uh, a star is born a star yeah. is born and you it's so i mean it's so great you talk about all the people that have come up since you've been on top and like you lay you know eminem kanye wheezy you talk about all those guys about how you've seen them blossom is there one star in particular that you've seen that you're up up on top that has really like wow he just blew my mind uh i guess eminem um he was just yeah. a phenomenon he, when he he was selling like Two million records in, in one week like it was <laughs> just a phenomenon minutes. what he, yeah what he what he what he right. had done it was just incredible and you're always one of his favorite rappers so i'm sure like getting uh validated from you has got to be like for him amazing i'm sure yeah i hope so <laughs> <laughs> i was actually reading an article um if you're just joining us for now, we got Jay Z on the Comcast couch. I was reading an article. You're never gonna you say that because people know his voice. Yeah, I mean, the voice, right? like, certain people you gotta explain, but you know, Jay Z. You said you know. I may be the most bootleg artist in history. <laughs> yeah. how, do you, how do you feel about the whole bootlegging game online or on the streets? I, I mean, I'm an artist, so at, you know it's frustrating because you wanna you wanna present your music the way you want to. You know, you don't want mm. songs to be heard out of context. You know, I'm a person that take a month to do a sequence. Yeah, you know, so I really care about how people listen to the music. The story, the music is a story for me. Mm-hmm. It's an arc. It has a beginning. That's why it comes on. Like what we talking about on yeah. this album. The song is called "What We Talking About." So it sets the tone. Like mm-hmm. what are we talking about? Uh-huh. Okay, this is what we're dealing with in this album. Yeah, and then halfway through the album, it's "Stars Born," right, and then it goes yeah, it's "Forever song. Young." So it's like a, I look at music like a, a story. So when it's heard out of context. You know, it bothered mm-hmm. me. But also on the flip side of that, the excitement for the album right. and people wanting to hear it. 
And, you know, the hunger for that, we had to push the date up. You know, and it was September 11th. The album's in the start of 8th. Everybody yeah. jumped, you know, jumped street date. Mm-hmm. 